Hi, everybody, this is Richard, and today I'm gonna to review a really special cool beer. It's also by my uh, favorite uh, brewery, California, and it's uh, Dogfish Head as the brewery. And this beer is not an IPA. So this one is a stout, it's called Worldwide Stout. Uh, before I pop that open, I want to tell you a little bit about the history of IPAs. Uh, IPAs started in the 17th century when uh, England was colonizing uh, India. And in those days, to uh, get to India, you had to sail all down the southern tip of Africa and then go back to uh, India. And if you notice, when it, England was a perfect weather for, for beer, but when you go down the Ecuador, then it gets warm and the beer will spoil. So some smart dude in England figured out that by adding a lot of hops, the hops kill the bacteria, and in the process to ferment more alcohol. So the beer got to India without spoiling, but it had a really strong hoppy flavor and uh, more alcohol. And that's uh, at least the main story. There's some other variations of that, and I'm sure there's more complex than that, but that's the main, main gist of uh, where the IPA uh, comes from. So now to our special beer. This is uh, not an IPA, this is a stout. And stout, they started all the way in the 14th century. So stout's uh, type of beer is much older than the Indian India Pale Ales IPAs. Uh, this is an imperial stout. When you hear of imperial IPAs, imperial stout, imperial lager, that word just means like more of it, like stronger or double. Like you hear double IPAs, imperial IPAs, the same thing. So this one, it's a seasonal beer. That means they only produce it in a specific season of the year. So you gotta uh, get lucky to catch it and buy it. Uh, so uh, this one, uh, the way the stouts are made, uh, the way it started in the 1400s, it's um, what they did, the, the stout was the beer for the commoner, for the poor people. Because what they did is they took all the leftover beers that they brew and they mixed them all together in a batch. And when they did that, they got dark and they also fermented with each other and they got really strong. So the word stout in the 1400s, it meant proud and brave. But then the word stout changed in the beer world to mean strong. So stout for us now means strong. So, and it describes the beer really good because it's a strong beer. So stouts are made um, mostly out of barley, but the, the difference in, in a stout is that they bake the barley a little longer. So you get a little bit more of that burn flavor and that's why they're dark. And also you get these flavors that come out of the barley. They give a taste of uh, chocolate, coffee, stuff like that. So they're pretty interesting. Now this one, uh, I'm looking forward to it because you gotta be careful with this bad boy here. It's, um, 16 to 18 percent alcohol that means that this one little bottle here has more alcohol than four regular beers so let's pop it open see what do you think you always any good beer you have to put it in a glass of this shape so you can air it out and we'll see what it looks like. Jesus Christ. This thing is dark, man. Look at that. And also, 
the uh, the head of it is dark too, so the foam is not white like most beers. It's got this kind of a espresso chocolate look to the foam. See how it smells? Man, it's got a strong smell. It's, it's already smelling good. I can already smell coffee and chocolate. So here we go. Woo. I think this beer is meant to be a sip because it's pretty strong. It's not a beer that you drink at a bowl game. This to me, it's like a beer that you drink after dinner or with a cigar. This is a great beer to have with a cigar. It almost tastes like if you were drinking like a like a porter wine. You know, not a wine that you drink, but just a porter, you know, that's really strong, real sweet, and you just sip on it. So this is kind of the feeling. This is almost like out of the beer category because it's not what we think of beer. Hey, chug it down. No, this bad boy is, I'm gonna sip it. Wow, tons of flavor, tons of flavor, delicious. And I am surprised that I was expecting uh, a lot of boozy flavor to it, kind of alcohol flavor to it because it has so much of it, uh, but it doesn't. It's deceptive because it doesn't seem like it has a lot of alcohol, but it does. And uh, very drinkable. So I guess you just gotta know to be careful. I mean, you drink two of these bad boys and it's good night. So, mm. Well, Worldwide Stout by Dogfish Head. If I was going to drink a dark beer, definitely this is it. Uh, the only problem with this beer, again, is seasonal, so it's not easy to find. And it's also pricey. Uh, this beer costs about $44 for a four pack. But if you buy it in a single, it's about, I, I pay, I think I paid $14 per, per bottle. Uh, they also say that this is a great beer to, to age. So I bought a couple more that I'm putting in my uh, beer cover and uh, I'm gonna age them for a couple years. Maybe one for a year, one for another year and see if it really makes a difference. I'm not new I'm new to aged beers. Usually I buy them and I drink them. So in order to age it, I would have to buy a few so I can have some that I forget about and I can age. But good tasting beer. Definitely recommend this beer. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed and got something out of this video. Um, so definitely recommend it if you want a stout, a strong stout. Definitely, if you're looking for a beer to go with a good cigar, this is it. Awesome beer. There you go. See you later, suckers.